okay guys uh, this is another episode of uh, my uh, ECU cloning I want to share this with everybody because I have not seen any particular video uh, on YouTube or on Facebook where uh, the other IM608 was used to clone this model of uh, ECU I mean several times I've tried uh, to um, zero or renew this particular ECU but it soon seemed very very abortive especially for those of uh, this is the 8 uh, cylinder for V8 for ML500 430 and uh, thereabout it runs on E-Class it also runs on uh, the 163 model, uh, uh, model and also um, the W164 for ML500 so this is very very easy instead of going through the rigorous process of uh, of um, going to pull out the IC you know this exact IC that is here I didn't just want to tamper with this because I got the connection right after I discovered the, the exact way to read this particular chip down there so instead of you going to pull out this chip the easiest way to do is um, do a connection with this particular um, wire the APB uh 103 sorry it is inverted i will just uh, have to place it that way you see the sp uh 400 pro so um this is it i will show you the procedure it is very very easy uh, i don't even know the exact thing i clicked on okay yes let me just start afresh so that we will follow uh fully the whole process is me it is very very easy you just move to your programmer say yes and um very very easy very easy you do not need to pull any chip see this particular okay we're there now so you go to um chip eprom mcu and ecu chip read and write now when you get to this place you just go to the EEPROM then you search for the ST type of chip that's the ST then um, you move down to this to select the XT95 and there is your chip type so when you select this then watch it go EEPROM you can read it now I haven't done any writing you see it just wait for it boom and that's the content of this so instead of going to or uh, battling with the way to use your imc so it's to um zero this particular device you don't just need to worry yourself about it now you have it you save and whatever i'll call it now is um uh yy you see it then i save it's been saved and um, now moving it over to the new one the easiest way is just to click right read okay we've read it before cancel so we need to write this time now I go to that exact file I saved and that is it then we say yes okay and there you go you can see the xp folder blinking and uh give it some seconds she pretty successfully and now we'll read to verify and there you go that is the exact thing so um don't forget to click the like and share and subscribe button i think this will be very very helpful to someone don't forget cloning this particular uh type of ecu remember it is the xt type of chip and it goes easily thank you very much